Okay, it's 9.58 now, and I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> I started a list on my computer, a Christmas wish list that's not a things list. It's more of a activity list, time, commitment of time list. I don't know what you call it. Things like, um, what would I like? A road trip. Um, a beach weekend, um, a sketching or art inspiration hike or drive, a shopping or thrifting day with me with lunch out and all that. If you were going to create a list for your children or significant others of what you would like for Christmas, but it's not don't buy me things. I'd rather you spend time with me doing blah, blah, blah. What's the blah, blah, blah? What's the thing? Give me some ideas. Leave a comment down below. All right. I also did two more pigments because I had some red onions. So I wanted to lake them and get that done. And I also had some avocado seeds. So we're going to see on the avocado what color comes out on the red onion. I'm pretty sure I know what color it's going to come out, but we'll, we'll test it out and we'll see. Now I should probably go take a shower and I think we have to figure out how to fix my car seat today. Hopefully we can figure that out. Otherwise we have to take it in. All right, I'll be back. Do you guys see that? Giant blue jay, I think that's what that is. He's huge. There are a lot of critters out there this morning. Pretty cool. Guys, yes, I'm all bundled up. It's cold. Bob says I've lost too much weight. I don't have any more fat on my body to keep me warm. But it wouldn't be too bad, but we get, we've get we been getting these winds. The winds are freezing. And my face is cold, so. I made these for COVID, but I'm glad I have them now. Anyway, we're going to go get some steps in. This morning, Bob figured out what's wrong with my car door. Uh, we can't get uh, the seat, not the car door, the seat. Anyway, um, we can get the part, but not until tomorrow, and he can fix it himself. So, yay! Um, 50 bucks instead of like 500 bucks? I'm all about that. 50 bucks instead of a new car. Instead of a new car, yeah. The kids are like, why don't you just buy a new car? We could, but I don't want to. Anyway, uh, also I closed all the listings for all the stencils in my Etsy shop. So if you want one, private message me. It is Monday morning, 10, 24 a.m. November 21st, I think. I think it's the 21st. Uh, yes. Watch red lights. Yes. Um, we're obviously in the car. We're gonna, Bob is off this week because of Thanksgiving. Um, so we are going to start his office remodel by going to the hardware store and picking out some new flooring and um, starting to plan that out because Black Friday is coming up. He probably should order his desk because it'll probably be on sale. Um, or there'll be some kind of discount or something. Um, so <laughs> Don't mess with your discount, yeah. We're also going to check out two art supply stores in Portland that I've been meaning to check out since we moved here in 2018. And I haven't done that yet. So we're going to go do that today. And we also have to pick up Christmas stamps from the post office because we are people who send out Christmas cards once a year. So we need stamps. It's like the only time we buy stamps. We are going to be remodeling Mr. Bob's office because going forward, um, he is going to be working at home full time. So we are going to be getting new flooring, painting, new desk, like the whole nine yards. And I have no say in it. It's his office. Remind me that I said that, you guys. Anyway. <laughs> I have no say. <laughs> That's funny. I have no say. <laughs> anyway, we are off to the hardware store this morning to pick out flooring. He wants something similar to what's in my office, but not exactly the same. In my office, I have a Pergo, um, and it is color Bayshore Gray Hickory, this one. So we um, 
are gonna go see what we can find and hopefully get that ordered and the measuring scheduled and all, all, of, that. all of that stuff, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And We're at Artists and Craftsmen Supply in Portland on the other side of the river. Look at that building, you guys. It's not honestly in a super great neighborhood, but you gotta love the artwork on the building. All right, let's go check it out. What did you just say about the store? It's got a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, for a small building, small it has building. a lot of stuff lot in of it. Stuff. But that being said, um, they don't have lots of watercolor supplies, which is primarily what I'm looking for at the moment. Um, that being said, if I need um, pretty much anything else paint-wise, I would just come here if it was convenient and I was nearby because they have everything else. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're gonna check out one more store. I didn't buy anything, by the way. Uh, we're gonna check out, I know, right? We're gonna check out one more place, I'll be back. Now we're at Columbia Art and Drafting. Now the first place, well-stocked, prices comparable to Dick Blick. They were really cute because they had their own parking lot. Um, here, they do have free parking, but you have to park on the street, so which we did. So we're gonna go in and check it out, and I'll be back. Okay, while neither store has a ton of watercolor supplies, if you need an art bag, come to this place, because they have tons, all different kinds. Oh my God. Okay guys, I got a clipboard today when I was at one of those art supply stores and it came with this red band on it for holding your paper down when you're drawing with it. I made this band out of some elastic I had and some scrap fabric. Wanna see what I turned it into? You know how I like to do my daily sketch walks well, my sketch walks around the neighborhood. So my sketchbook is being held in by the clip on the clipboard and that red band back here underneath the pages in the back. I glued a piece of magnet here to hold my watercolor palette. I can hold two of the mini palettes or one of my larger ones. On the elastic band at the top, I have attached a pocket for my pens and brushes. This is a pocket for other random things, including some templates that I use to make these squares on here. And then a rag to wipe my brush on. How cute is that? So this is my big one that'll just stay out and set up like that. And then when I wanna take my old handbag, um, when we're going say on a road trip, I have this little tin that was I, we got from Hawaii, it had cookies in it. I have a mini clipboard that I've also glued a big giant magnet to. And in this box, I have another rag I can wipe my brushes on. This one happens to fit on my wrist. It has elastic inside. Like that. I have a couple of sketchbooks, one that I'm trying to finish and a new one. Pens and brushes. A couple of watercolor palettes, little ones. And some binder clips. And this one, Sets up a, kind of the same way. Use the clips to, and the, um, what you who's it? <laughs> the, the clipboard thing to hold the sketchbook down. This one does have an elastic strap back here to hold the sketchbook closed, 
but if I wanted to, I could use it to hold the paper like that. To pick one of my watercolor palettes. I think this is the one from Earth Pigments. Yeah. It would go there. I need to put this somewhere or usually what I would do is have the color chart like handy like that. And then I've got a couple of extra clips. You can put pens in. Well, you're going to be drawing with one. You could put brushes in. I do have a little water bottle too. Anyway, it would look something like this. I, I like that. I am thinking on this one about creating some sort of little hanging pocket or something to put like these in, like instead of this. So let me see what I can do because I kind of like the way that turned out on the other board. But it has to be something that can fit in the tin. Okay, so I used the same fabric and elastic to create this hanging pocket. So when I'm holding this and sketching, all my things are right there. And there's room for a little bit more and the clip will keep them in there tightly that works so now the only thing i have to do with both sets is i like to put a label on the paintbrush what size the tip is because most of these water brushes it's kind of a little bit hard to tell especially once they get really used without pulling the caps off which when you're out sketching and it's you know the weather is not great you don't have time to be looking at the caps pulling all the caps off so Anyway, um, let me do that and make sure everything's filled up with water and I'll be right back. The other thing I would always have in any of the kits is some kind of little Ziploc bag because sometimes you're wanting to put things away quickly because of the weather or something else and the paint or something is still wet. It's always good to have a bag. But anyway, now it's all full and ready to go. Both of them are done. How cool is that? And I should say too, if I wanted to, because I have two, um, I actually have three of these little mini palettes. I have two of the ones made out of the aspen tins. And then I have this one made out of a kid's watercolor tin. Um, I think on both boards, I can fit two. On this one, I would have to move this clip over here. But I could definitely do that, that actually works. So, and that reminds me, I need to put packing tape on this. So anyway, you wanna take your art with you, you wanna do drawing outside. If I can do it, you can do it. And it doesn't take a lot of money. Morning, it is Tuesday morning, November 22nd, just before 10 a.m. Because Mr. Bob is off this week, we're gonna go for a walk. We're doing it early because it's supposed to rain all day today. And it is already drizzly out. We have these just in case. But we're going to go get some steps in and see what we can see. And I'll be back. If it doesn't rain too hard, I might get some video or some pictures, but we'll see. I'll be back. I would bring my new sketchboard with me. Urban sketching, neighborhood sketching, decompression sketch walk, whatever you want to call it. But if it was just like right now, it would be fine but it looks like it's gonna dump any second and I don't wanna get my brand new board soaking wet. So, and unless they make an umbrella hat that's like four feet wide, yeah, that's just not gonna happen. So anyway, we're gonna just go walk. I'll see if I can get some inspirational pictures to sketch from and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. I'll be hey back. Hey guys, good afternoon. It is Wednesday, November 23rd. It is 1.17 p.m. Don't get excited. I'm looking at my tablet. 
Um, I haven't vlogged before now because I started my day with a counseling appointment, so that always throws my whole schedule off. Um, but it went very well. Um, I have a few things I have to work on always, but it went very well. I think I'm going to start writing daily pages again. Oh, sorry. Which is in this little notebook actually right here. Um, it's a very ther therapeutic way of just letting go of all that stuff that's up here. Um, I'm also going to finish my watercolor sketchbook today. And um, Bob fixed the water leak in the car, the drain drains that were clogged or whatever from the sunroof. And he's off right now picking up a car part for the Subaru, my car, to hopefully fix the power seat thing that's not moving. Um, because the seat won't move back. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's all good. I think he's going to be able to get that done today. I decided that I'm going to take a vlog break. You guys really won't notice a difference, but I will. So I am a couple weeks ahead at the moment in my vlog, which is cool. Sorry, ring doorbell. Um, I am going to film little bits over my two-week break, but I'm not going to air it until um, probably just after New Year's. We're going to stay on the same day and time. I'll be airing vlogs um, up until then, but like I said, I'm two or three weeks ahead at the, mo at the moment. Those are the little girls from next door. So I am going to take a break, and I will catch you up with the new year. Anyway, let me go see what they want but I can guess. I'll be back. Bob is back from picking up the car part. He's been back for a little bit and he's putting it in. I just finished um, the sketchbook. So we are gonna let that dry and then put it away with its brothers and sisters upstairs and <sighs> on to the next. Uh, as soon as Mr. Bob is done, I think we're gonna go for a walk before it gets really dark outside. We have an hour, maybe hour and a half before the sun is setting right now. Anyway, I'll be back. Hey you guys, I got the sketchbook done. It's all put away, We're ready for the next one. Bob put the car part in the car, but it didn't work. So something else is wrong with the seat. So I guess I get to drive over to the car dealership on Tuesday and then again on Friday. <laughs> Maybe I can get him to do the oil change while I'm there Tuesday. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be so back. We're out walking by the golf course. Just a few geese. Mr. Bob says about a hundred of them at or least, more. At least. Yeah. They're there often, but wow, what a sight. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It is Thursday morning, November 24th, uh, about 11.30 a.m., Thanksgiving Day, and we are just getting things ready. Rebecca and Paulius and uh, grand dog Lily are coming over for dinner. Uh, they're probably coming over earlier than that. Um, so we're just getting chores done. Chores done. Mr. Bob is going to go feed his wild animal friends, his critters, his pack of critters. Um, I've got bread making, laundry working. I, um, I made another travel watercolor palette because, you know, kit, because I just love them and I like the idea of being able to go somewhere, whether it's walking the neighborhood or going on a road trip and looking in my basket of travel watercolor and go, which one do I want to take today? Oh, I'll take this one. Um, so I did that from things I had, and um, yeah, so it's all good. It's going to be just a nice, quiet day at home. Guys are going to think they're going to watch football or soccer or something on TV, and we're going to just eat and hang out. And at some point tonight or tomorrow, we're going to put out Christmas decorations. The kids always come over and they spend the night, and they help us put out Christmas decorations, so that's fun. Anyway. That's it for the minute. I wonder how many 
minutes it'll take for Bob's little critter family to figure out he put food out. Probably like less than five minutes. All right, I'll Morning, be Morning, everybody. It is, I don't know what time. The day after Thanksgiving. Quarter to 12, Friday, November 25th? Yeah, okay, I got it right. <laughs> Big surprise. Um, yes, it's raining. Yes, we're going walking. We have Lily uh, while the kids do some Black Friday shopping. The kids stayed for breakfast. They stayed overnight, they do every year. And they help, we make breakfast for them the next morning. And then they help us decorate for Christmas. So we got all the inside decorations up and done. And uh, the two nutcrackers are by the front door. We have, obviously it's raining, so we're not doing anything electrical outside. We will wait until sometime this weekend they'll go up. I don't know when. Bob's also gonna try one more thing with my car seat to see if you can diagnose what the issue is. But as long as it's raining, I don't know if that's gonna happen. We'll see. Anyway, let's go get some steps in, see what we can see. I didn't film any of last night because we had the neighbor and her two kids over. Her husband's a firefighter. He was on duty last night. They were gonna be home alone. So we brought him over and that was fun. Green beans came out a little mushy, but they were good. So anyway, it's always something, right? All right. Let's go get some steps. I'll be back. I forgot to vlog this morning because, you know, obviously we're in the car. We're pulling into the grocery store parking lot. We spent the morning catching up on chores. Mister is a little grumpy because he had to pay bills this morning. We're finally feeling the um, effects of the utility rate increases that are going on um, here in Oregon and honestly and around the world. But anyway, we're feeling them now too. But anyway, I made some more pigments, including red cabbage powder and beet um, root. I'll put the pictures here. Oh my God, they turned out great. But anyway, we're gonna go get groceries now, run some errands, return the daughter's toothbrush to her because she left it in her house. And I don't wanna know what she did to brush her teeth this morning. Ew, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's well after 11 o'clock. We are headed to bed and I almost forgot to close the vlog. Anyway, it's been a good week, but on to the next. So anyway, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I hope you're making your way through the holiday season safely and calmly. That's my best advice. Anyway, um, don't forget to check out the video description and leave comments and concerns. Maybe think about joining my Facebook group or my Patreon to support the free content in any regard. Have a good day. Have a good week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.